Welcome to Book Club Preview. I'm Michael, and today we're looking at Ender's Game, Chapter 4, The Launch. Now, in this chapter, it starts off with um, two people talking, Graf and someone else, and they're giving a plan on how to develop Ender into um, maybe one of the world's greatest um, military leaders. And Graf says, we have to isolate him. We have to take him away from the other groups so he can stay creative and active. And then it goes into Enders. Well, Enders walk in with a bunch of other um, launchies, is what we'll learn they're called, um, people going on to launch into the Battle Academy. And as he's looking around, some kids are laughing and playing and joking together. Enders just kind of silent, kind of by himself. And he's just watching everyone. And then he realizes that the other officers and the other people are watching them. There's actually a um, TV crew taking some cameras and film, uh, maybe to show them for TV. And Ender thinks like, oh, maybe I should say goodbye to Valentine or say hi to my mom and run to the camera. He says, no, no, I can't. I need to, I need to focus and they're watching me. I need to be professional. And so he goes off into the rocket ship. And immediately, Ender starts to look at things differently as far as gravity is concerned. Uh, he thinks about the rocket ship being hung upside down from the planet. <laughs> Ooh, feel, do you feel upside down? Or um, Graf being um, right side up or upside down or off the wall or sideways. Like He just starts playing with gravity in his mind, looking at it from different perspectives. Um, Oh, let me see here. Let me give an example. So here is Earth. Now, for most of us, we feel like we are here on Earth, right? And gravity is pulling us down. But Ender, he flips that. And he starts to think the rocket ship is actually on the bottom of the Earth and the gravity is holding it up, I guess, in a way, but the rocket ship is gonna fall off into outer space. So Ender's kind of thinking about this stuff and he thinks about gravity in the, in the ship too. So, well, let me see here, there we go. <clears throat> so as they're going off on the rocket, all the other kids are sitting down, kind of joking, they're feeling a little sick as it's, blasting off but then uh, Ender starts smiling um, may maybe he doesn't realize he's smiling but Graf sees him and Graf comes down this ladder and Ender's kind of thinking about Graf holding himself maybe sideways or upside down or right side up and maybe there's something on his face maybe it's Graf just himself and Graf says what are you smiling at soldier is something funny and Ender thinks, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. In the beginning of the movies, um, the soldier and the officer um, are really tough, but in the end, they become friends. Graf is my friend. And so then Ender starts to say, uh, no, sir, nothing's funny, sir. And Graf asks a question. And slowly, um, Graf starts to isolate Ender by praising him by saying only Ender on this rocket ship has enough brains to be something great. The rest of you are just going to be soldiers that are going to get killed in battle. He says, but Ender's special. Ender's the one. Ender's the one I'm going to put all my money on because he's the best. And Ender's kind of like, wait, 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 wait. That's not right. If he praises me, then all the other soldiers are going to hate me. What's going on? This is not like the movies. And just like Ender predicts, some boy starts to kick his chair and uh, starts to hit him on the head. So some boy unbuckled and started to hit Ender on the head, hit Ender on the head. And what Ender does is when the boy is about ready to hit him on the head, he grabs his arm and he yanks down. Now, he thought maybe the boy would just go poof and hit the chair 
but because he was in zero gravity, Ender's strength was multiplied. And so when he pulled, the boy goes, woof! He just flies off into the spaceship and starts to boom, 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 boom. And then, poof! <laughs> ah! His arm gets broken. And uh, then everyone's like, oh my goodness, oh, stay away from Ender, that guy's crazy. And so when, when Ender is kind of getting off the, off the rocket ship, he's thinking like, man, Graf has done all this. Graf is the reason. He made me an outsider, and now, I, I, now I'm alone, I'm isolated. And he even tells Graf, Graf, I thought you were my friend. And Graf says, what made you think I was your friend? And he said, well, you told me the truth. You were honest to me. And he said, well, I'm going to be honest with you, Ender. My job isn't to be friends with you. It's to make the next greatest soldier, the next Alexander the Great, the next Julius Caesar, um, the next, I, I don't know whichever the one, he gives another one, uh, Napoleon. So that's what Graf says. Like, my job isn't to be your friend. My job is to make the world's greatest soldiers that have ever existed. Ender ends up going away uh, because he doesn't want to look like an officer's pet or a teacher's pet. And then another officer goes up to Graf and he says, Hey, hey, was, is that the one? Is that, is that the one? And Graf says, Oh my goodness, I hope so. I hope he's the one. But I hope he isn't the one because this kid is too sweet. He's too good. He's too nice. And what we're going to do to this kid is going to be terrible. I hope he's not the one. But I hope he's the one. And uh, that's kind of the question that we'll find out in the book. Is Ender the one? That leaves us with some vocabulary. Disoriented. Disoriented means you don't know which direction you're going in. Imagine spinning in a circle. Spin, 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 spin. Go straight. Oh, where am I going? You don't know which way is straight. So when all the boys get on the rocket ship and they're in outer space, they become disoriented and start to feel like they're going to throw up. Brag. Brag is when you say something really good about yourself. It could be about others too. But when you say, oh, I'm the best. Oh, yeah, look at me. I'm so cool. I'm so great. This is bragging. Lithe. Lithe is kind of like graceful like a cat. And uh, I can't remember who's moving lithely. Maybe, oh, I think it's the cameramen. The cameramen are moving lithely. Censored. Censored means edited for, um, well, edited, really. Maybe if you've seen a movie and there is, um, or a TV show, and maybe there's a Nike symbol on someone's shirt, the camera or the movie crew will they'll fade out this Nike symbol. They'll censor it. They'll edit it. So if Ender says, Mom, I miss you. I'm going to miss you. I love you. When the video goes to the public, it'll be edited. So people won't see that Ender was, uh, was weak. Scumbrain is just a word to say... Um, Idiot, stupid, pinhead, idiot, stupid, um, scum. Scum is uh, like a lake. Think of a lake. The green stuff that floats on top of a lake that's alive and it's a plant, that is scum. So scum brains. Pinhead, a pin, um, boink, ow, a pin, the small head, is like your brain, the size of your brain, pinhead. Scrupulous means very careful and very um, intentional. So I'm trying to think. <laughs> Maybe uh, after you take a shower, your mom looks at you scrupulously. Did you wash your hair? Did you wash behind your ears? Did you wash your neck? Maybe she looks at you when you were young and sees if you cleaned yourself well. She looks very carefully and seriously, scrupulously. And I can't remember how this was used in the book. Next vocabulary word is lagged behind. 
So you might know the word lag. Lag is usually for like an internet connection when there's some wait time. Uh, we call that lag. So lag behind is to wait, to slow down, to um, go behind the other. And so Ender was trying to lag behind to be the last one off the rocket ship, but he couldn't be the last one, but he was somewhere towards the end. Despicable, terrible, awful, evil, dirty, bad. One more word here, <laughs> licking up. Um, this comes from like, think of like a king or queen and they have a servant that really loves them so much that the servant can lick their shoe. Oh man, that's disgusting. And so whenever a younger or smaller person tries to get the favor of a higher person, we say kissing up, like kissing their butt, right? Being a butt kisser, something like that. Or licking up, licking their shoe to try and gain favor or rank. And so Graf says, you don't want to look like you're looking up to me. And so Ender takes off. That leaves us with our discussion question. Have you ever imagined yourself hanging upside down on the earth or just changing perspectives in different ways? And of course, please make your own discussion question. That is all the time that we have for today, but thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Book Club Preview. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.